Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, what I'm gonna talk about in today's video, I need you guys' you know, opinion on everything. Okay, and I need you guys to tell me in the comments if you guys agree what I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna give you guys a fair warning. If you guys see this red dot right here on my forehead, no, I didn't get punched in the face. I was having a nerf war. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. I was having a nerf war. I got shot literally in the forehead. Anyway, listen, um, we're here to talk about Black Ops 6. Okay, we're here to talk about Black Ops, and to be honest, I have my good, you know, doubts, and I have my bad doubts. What I mean about good doubts is, is that, um, I have high hopes, but it's not gonna happen. Just knowing Call of Duty, they don't listen their, to their community. They don't. <laughs> we can all agree about that right now in the comment section. We can have, like, a full-blown conversation in the comment section about that. But, I'm gonna be talking about the campaign, the multiplayer, and the zombies. Um, I have high hopes for this game. This game has the potential to be probably the best Call of Duty ever. Bear in mind, guys, this game was in the making for four years. Not a year, not two years, not three, four, okay? Listen, I know this is a lot to expect because it's Call of Duty, man. This game should be perfect. This game should not have no bugs. This game should not have this fucking cycle of every year where Call of Duty every every time they fix something, they fucking ruin something else. Listen, that should not be a problem. But listen, Matt, don't get your hopes up. Don't, do not get your hopes up because we know, we all know that is not going to happen. There's always going to be that one bug they have to fix. There's going to be that one thing that guns or, yeah, that one part where guns are not going to be balanced. There's gonna be this one particular gun that's better than the other, and everyone's gonna use it. We all know that's not gonna happen. We all know it. But we expect too much, but listen, I'm gonna tell you what I need to see in this game for it to succeed, what I want to see in the game, what I hope to see in the game, and, you know, hopefully you guys agree with me. But, campaign. Listen, I was having a very long conversation on IG with my boy Sub Nova the other day about campaign, specifically. Why are they adding server? Listen, I understand it's online. I understand, you know, you, wa you want us to play with other people and have a fun experience. Uh, listen, I understand that part. But do you realize the moment you guys shut down these servers, our progress is gone. Did you guys think about that? I don't think you guys did. When you guys were sitting down at that conference table, oh yeah, let's make it online. But no save points? Excuse me? Listen. Yeah, 100% they might be save points in this game. The moment they do a Warzone 1 episode where they shut down the game completely, we lose everything. Once they shut down this game, what's the point of coming back to the game for multiplayer and zombies? Listen, I understand some people don't play the game for mul- or not multiplayer, for campaign, or shit, even multiplayer, or even zombies. Maybe you guys are that one person that just wants to play multiplayer or just one particular mode. There's some people out there, 100%. But listen to me, Call of Duty, you guys have four months to get rid of this. Listen, I'm always down for a solo campaign. We've played that for years. I understand you guys want to do something different and, you know, add a co-op. Listen, I would love to do that. But don't make it in... Yeah, you need... You obviously need servers to play campaign, to play with other people. But don't make it to where you guys shut down the servers, everything is gone. Some people love the campaign, including me. Including me. You guys need to do something to where I'm not saying you guys are going to shut it down. I'm not saying that. But you guys need to do something where progress does not get removed at all. I'm excited for the game. I am excited. I'm happy as hell. This game, I want this game to succeed. I really do. Because Call of Duty is my go-to game. I'm a Call of Duty content creator. You know what I mean? So, listen, we haven't seen the gist of it yet. We haven't seen COD Next yet. So, I can't really say much about the game. We only we only saw, you know, it's and bits about, you know, the movement, a little bit of the campaign, villain, zombies. We saw a little bit in the direct. I have it uploaded on my channel. Go watch the video if you haven't seen it yet. Moving on to zombies. Moving on to, not zombies, not zombies, my bad, multiplayer. I want to talk about multiplayer first, then we'll move over to zombies. Alright, I have a lot to say about this. When it comes to multiplayer, when it comes to and everything, listen, I'm happy as hell it's returning. It's something to work for, you know what I mean? It's something to actually grind for, and I'm okay with that. I'm, shit, I am happy as hell for it. I'm tired of this level 250, go up and then our 250, stop there. Next season, go up and then our 250, stop, go up and then our 250. Nah, I'm tired of that. It's about time we get that level 1000 back, okay? 
I w I'm always down. But the main thing I want to talk about is the maps that are coming back. Guys, remember, this is just a rumor my mother talk about, but it would be sick for it to come back. I'm hearing maps from Black Ops 1, 2, 3, even Cold War is coming back. Now, listen, just rumors. Those are just fake, fake leaks. I've been seeing everywhere. Um, shit, I've been, I've been seeing a lot, but I don't believe it until I see it. Um, but if these leaks are true about, you know, from maps from one, two, three, Cold War, you know, all that, I would love to see it back. I would love to see maps from Black Ops 1, like Firing Range, you know, maps from BO2, like, um, Standoff, um, maps from BO3, like, that's the main question about Black Ops 3. Remember, if these rumors are true... The map's coming back from Black Ops 3 and, you know, the game is boots on the ground because I don't want- I don't want a jetpack game. I don't. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of jumping in the sky and just trying to shoot somebody. <laughs> no. I don't want to do that no more. I want the game to be strictly boots on the ground. But, anyway. About Black Ops 3 maps. Remember, like I said, it's just a rumor. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's false. If they ever bring back Black Ops 3 maps, what are they gonna do about the wall running parts? That's the main question I have. I, I would love to play BO3 maps strictly boots on the ground because I love BO3. I, lo I, I, like the, I like the multiplayer. I didn't think it was the best. I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was okay. Because like I said, I'm not really, you know, jetpacky COD games. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really about that. But I would love to see that back. I would love to see that back. When it comes to BO4, that game was hot fucking garbage. I don't want to see anything back from that game. You guys might disagree. I strictly didn't. That game was hot garbage. That game was a failure to me. Anything from that game, I don't care. <laughs> I strictly don't. But um, but yeah, that's about that's it for multiplayer to be honest. Because the Omni movement that I'm hearing, it's good to see it back. Or not back, but new. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Um, it's about time because whenever you're running straight, right? Remember how like ever you're running straight and um you try to stop and try to move back because people are shooting at you. I think this is a good way to get out of sticky situations now. Yes, it's gonna feel weird because Call of Duty is gonna change because of this movement. It's gonna change. You're gonna be squirming like a worm now. You get to, you know, go all over the place. It's gonna be sick. It's, like I said, it's gonna change it, but I can't wait. I can't wait to, you know, finally figure out, you know, how it feels or whatever. But yeah, I can't wait about that. The Omni movement I am excited for. Zombies. I have a lot to say about this. When it comes to prestiging, I think multiplayer and zombies should be different. I don't think multiplayer and zombies should have that level 1000. I think zombies should have the prestige ranking from Black Ops 2. I think zombies should not be a part of the multiplayer scene. When it comes to prestige, when it comes to prestige, I think zombies should have that proud, that proud successful moment when it comes to the ranking from Bone, Skull, Knife Skull, and then Shotgun. Back in Black Ops 2 days, it was actually meant by skill. The higher rounds you got, kills you got, strategy, the easter eggs, that should come back. It should. Keep it different, because honestly, I think Zombies is going to be more successful than multiplayer. I, that's my personal opinion, though. You guys might have a different one. Zombies should be different than multiplayer. It should not be both. Yeah, both should not be level 1000 coordinated. It shouldn't. Also, another thing I want to see back is Grief Mode. Grief Mode was another successful mode from Black Ops 2. It was a 4v4, you know, player versus player, and whatever team downed the other team first, all four, won the game. I would love to see that back. Activision, you mean you both know. If you guys are magically watching this video, I know for a fact you're not. I know you're not. I will never will think you're ever watching this video, but listen. That mode was probably the most successful mode back in Black Ops 2 when it was in its prime. Everybody played it. It was fun. Town, farm, uh, bus depot, you know, buried. Who else was it on? Was it on Die Rise? I don't think it was on Die Rise, but you get the gist. Bring back modes where it was successful. Make, you know, the old generation happy again. Everybody loved it, including me. That's pretty much all I have to say about the game. Let me know if you guys agree in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see back in Black Ops 6 as well. You know, as well. Alright? But you guys have a great day. 
I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.